Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as Elducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoy this video. So today I'm back with my third and final part of this bins haul that I started a few weeks ago. And every time I, I don't wanna say I ran out of time, but we were hitting like 50 and 40 minutes, which is a long haul. Yeah, not to use that phrase, but a long haul. I have one huge bag of stuff left that I wanted to share with you. And of course, once again, I'm on a time crunch. So we have about 20 minutes to film. So we're gonna do this together. I've got everything in my big Hulkin bag here. So I'm gonna grab everything out. I think this, I think we can do it in 20 minutes. So if you're not familiar with the Goodwill outlet is a pay by the pound Goodwill location. My outlet charges $1.89 plus tax for textiles, accessories and everything else. It's somewhere around that price range. So just to give you an idea of what I'm paying. So the first item to show you is this beautiful new with tags, Vince Camuto dress. That's the back, this was the front. Here's the tag, I'm sure you know what it looks like. It's a size 14, which, huh, <laughs> I'm like, hmm. again, I have nowhere to go, so I won't keep this, but it's really pretty. It's got like the three quarter sleeve with this sash wrap in front of it. Super sparkly, but you know how it is with these. Is that a snag? Yeah, but that one will cut off. It's just like cottony looking. I'll just snip that right off. You know how it is with these sparkly dresses? They shed, there's already glitter everywhere. This originally retailed for, $100.80. Okay, next item. All right, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I'm a little bit of a Disney nerd. And so I saw this really cute little mermaid jacket and I picked up, I think the same jacket or a similar one before. It's just by Disney store, which there's very few Disney store locations left. Most of it is just Disney online. So this is a size seven, eight, and obviously it's Little Mermaid. It's actually in really good condition because the ones that I've seen and sold before sometimes have discoloration on the outer layer here. And the problem with that is, is that maybe there's one little discoloration here. You're not gonna really stain treat this sort of material because it's supposed to be like rain resistant and everything. I'm happy about this item. I actually feel like I can throw it in that bin down there, which you can't see. Next item is the brand. This was new to me. So I looked up comps a while back. So I don't remember what comps are, but if you're on your computer, right now or on your phone, check out this brand. It's called Saint, 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 Saint Soleil. Soleil means sun, right? And it's a size medium. It says UV 50 plus cooling. So I feel like when I looked up comps, I was delightfully surprised to see that this brand does retail for quite a bit of money. It is just like a quarter zip pullover. It's super lightweight. I'm not sure if it's because I know that trip, I got a few different cycling shirts or apparel. So I don't know if that's a cycling brand, but it very well might be. And cycling brands tend to have a high MSRP. And for the high MSRP ones, um, they also resell for quite a bit of money. So there you go. So if you are have already watched the part one and part two of this haul, then you'll not be surprised to see a skirt. I found quite a few skirts in uh, larger sizes. So this one's a size 20, so plus size 20 woman. Brand is Emmanuel Angaro Woman. So there it is, nice to brand. This is this nice, soft, buttery leather. It's in really great condition. It's got the little slit here in the back. Could I send this brand to the real real? I'm not sure. I feel like I've sent them Emmanuel Angaro before. Not sure if I'm pronouncing the brand name correctly, but I can't remember off the top of my head if they accepted it. It's certainly a nicer piece because it is leather and it's in really great condition. Okay, next item. This I definitely thought about keeping. So it is the brand The North Face and it's a size extra large pullover, fleece pullover with this, you know, what do they call it? Like teddy bear, I'm not Sherpa, is it? Anyways, um, super duper soft pullover, but it's, how do you do it? It's kind of wide and I didn't really like that part about it. So it's got this huge neckline, here it is. It's just kind of wide and I think it is a women's but I just didn't like the fit. I like a little bit of a slimmer fit. It's real cute. I have a feeling or hope that it will sell fairly quickly, but uh, maybe not, but probably because it is coat and jacket season currently. Okay, next is a brand that I really enjoy selling and it's Bowden, but this is a kid's piece. So it's actually mini Bowden and it's a six to seven year old little pink frilly tiered dress. It's a little bit wrinkly because 
been sitting in a Hulkin bag for a while, but it's in good condition. You know, that's sometimes the challenge with kids' clothing. There's a couple of loose strings there, but I can just trim those. That's sometimes the challenge with kids' clothing because, you know, they spill stuff on it or they run and they get a hole or tear or whatever the case might be. So what is this? Uh, I'm pulling. Oh, okay. So this brand was new to me. Gosh, guys, it's been so long. I don't remember the comps and everything, but I feel like this was a good brand. But it's called the Fox and the Mermaid. So here's what the tag looks like. And this is a size, not sure. It says Ven Venice. Yeah, I'm guessing Venice, Italy. And it's a skirt, I think. Is it a skirt? Yeah, it's a skirt. It's really pretty. I feel like comps were good on this. It is a dress. That's a dress. Just kidding. It's a dress, you guys. It's really pretty. Now that it's a dress, it's even prettier. This has to be silk. It feels like silk. I'm gonna guess it's like a one size fits all. So yeah, I'm excited to list this now. I relive these hauls with you when I don't film them in a timely manner. I'm always like, oh, this is fun. This is cute. This is fun. <laughs> oh goodness. I would have liked to have filmed this haul sooner, but I've been busy. <laughs> it's not really an excuse. It's just the truth. Okay, next is a brand that I enjoy selling and it is the brand Athleta. Here they are. Uh, so this is a newer style of tag of theirs that's just printed on the inside. It's the Ultimate Stash Pocket 7 inch short. These are a size small. I love me a biker short. And they, the stash implies that it has pockets on the outside. There's also the pocket on the waistband. So there's that. Okay, next is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied corduroy pants. These are like an olive gray green. I've sold this style, I feel like a million times. The Moto TV ankles, zipper slim straight. I feel like I've said that before for sure. These are size 30R and I feel like tis the season for corduroy pants. If you're not watching this video at the time that I put it out, it's November. So it's holiday season, you know? Yeah. So you'll probably see that sort of apparel reflected in here. Uh, this is a Lane Bryant cardigan. It's a size 22, 24. It's a space dye print. Oh, it's a duster. Look, it's even longer than I thought. Open front, no zips or closures or anything here. Super cute. I do like to pick up plus size pieces when I see them, especially ones in good condition. Let's keep the life cycle of the garment going. Speaking of, here is the brand Torrid, which is also another plus size brand. Uh, they do vanity sizing. So this is a size one, which would be like a one X. It's actually really cute. I think I tried it on, but again, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. And I actually have a similar coat of theirs that I bought from another reseller, but look how cute it is. But that's the only thing I didn't like here is just where it splits open here. Cause that's right about, well, right there is my belly button. So just an interesting cut, but it's definitely gives you Sergeant Pepper's vibes <laughs> and there's no pockets or anything here, but it's lovely. It's a lovely army green color and I hope it makes it to the right home. Of course, if you guys are ever interested in anything from any of my hauls, my email is in the description. I like to say that instead of just saying my email because um, then you, the people who are serious about buying stuff, they go to the description. <laughs> okay, so anyways, here it is. What's jingling? I think it's the buttons clanging together. <laughs> that freaked me out for a second. I'm like, I'm alone here. What's Santa? <laughs> Okay, next is a swimsuit and it's from the brand Carmen Mark Valvo. This is a size eight, super cute one piece in nice condition. It's got these cutouts on the side with the ruching, really pretty. Number one thing for me that you kind of want to check, I mean, dry rot in a swimsuit is something to check for, but also checking the crotch, <sighs> check it. Yeah, it's just best to check it. If you know, you know. Okay, this was fun. I think it's vintage, but I'm not sure. Um, so it's a brand Anvil, which you can find Anvil t-shirts that are vintage. It's a size large. I don't think it's single stitch, so not sure how vintage it is, but it's just super cute. And it says, uh, libraries are where it's, and then the at sign. So super fun. I couldn't help myself. I had to grab it. And I knew there would be somebody who loves libraries who might want it. Okay, what else is next? Ooh. This is a Toad & Co dress. It's a size extra large. These dresses sell really well, <laughs> more so than I anticipated. Um, I think they do make athletic type pieces, so maybe that's what helps. I'm guessing the price point is a little bit 
higher, but I feel like every time I list some Tote & Co items, it sells kind of quickly. Or just the style dress in general. I think it's just a flattering style of dress, regardless of the brand. I'm checking our time right now. We're doing okay. I gotta go faster. Okay, another new with tag item. These are the brand J Jill. They're a size medium, deep blue. Originally $69, new with tags. Nothing special, but you know, somebody needs these for their work from home life. Okay, next is, it's just a kid's piece and yeah, I picked it up because it was cute. It's a size 4T and it's Disney. And is this the Fox and the Hound? I think that's the print on here. It was cute, so I grabbed it, guys, sorry. Throw that in there. All right, next is the brand Outdoor Research. So it's actually a really good brand and I passed it up a lot when I first started reselling. They do, this brand does retail for quite a bit of money. It's a size medium and I'm guessing this is a women's medium. Um, it's in, it's in good, goodish condition. The stitching on the OR has come loose a little bit. And then there is like paint or something there. This sort of material, and if you know, you know, you can hear it, uh, can often get discolored. I have used the grandma's spray cleaner. I'll link it down below in the description. I don't have any here to show you, but it actually does really, a uh, really good job at lifting the discoloration that can often happen from these coats or jackets, whatever you want to call them. Okay, um, obviously I will have to accept less for that piece just because of the flaws on it. Okay, next is the brand Eddie Bauer. This is a kid's jacket, super cute, really fuzzy on the outside. I like picking up Eddie Bauer jackets, whether they're adults or kids, because they do sell for generally a quite a bit of money, especially the EB Tech ones. I think those are the ones I'm thinking of. But anyways, I'm guessing that this is a reversible jacket. The size is probably listed somewhere here in the pocket, size medium, 10, 12. Fun. And then a little girl skirt, cause why not guys? It's the brand T, nicer-ish brand. It's a skirt and it's a size two. I don't know, I grabbed it, it's cute. Maybe I grabbed that to give to a friend. Maybe I should grab that out of there. Okay, moving on is the brand Orvis. And I think they sell men's and women's clothing. This is a men's shirt. It's a size small. It's got the venting here in the neck. A lot of their pieces, I feel like that are outdoorsy pieces have the venting in them, which is a great keyword to include for buyers because they're looking for that. Like if they go hiking, camping, those sort of outdoor activities, it's just a keyword that they're looking for. All right, I'm gonna grab more at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's this pretty? Oh, okay. So uh, actually some of this haul when I went that day, I was with my friend Ty, who is Lux Huntress on Instagram. She gave me the skirt and a few other pieces that are actually in here, but this is the brand Chaus. I don't know where this was originally sold. Chime in, please, down below if you know. It's a size eight. Mm. Mm. The stretch in the waistband may have, is maybe shot. Darn, I didn't, yeah, I didn't check for that, but that's okay. Uh, it is dead stock vintage. So the Bon Marche, if you are from the Pacific Northwest, those words will tickle your brain. This was originally $70 Hiller, um, but it's just a really pretty, I don't know, what would you call that? Like a Southwest print maxi skirt. Unfortunately, I will have to note about the shot elastic waistband. Next is a pair of Fabletics leggings. These actually have the brand tag in them. I talked about them recently in a video that I like selling them, but oftentimes there's no sizing information. So these are a size small and they're kind of like a stone gray with this really pretty, what would you call it? It's almost like a mesh. I don't want to call it lace, but mesh roses at the bottom. These are probably like, what do they call it? Seven eighths? Nah, it's not seven eighths. Three quarter? Anyway. They're cute. <laughs> I like selling Fabletics. Okay, this is the brand Eileen Fisher. Still like to pick up Eileen Fisher. This is made of Italian yarn. It's a size large, cropped, boxy style sweater. So for the Eileen fan that likes to show a little bit Tom Tom, this is your sweater. Or do you wear something underneath it? I don't know. I've never worn a cropped sweater in my life and I don't think I ever will. <sighs> Bold statements, here we go. <laughs> Next is a free people sweater. Here's the tag. It's a size small, uh, black, and definitely wash this with the pair well because I can tell because the color is really this rich, dark color. Look at that. 
no color fading in this. And, or there was, <laughs> again, a boxy cropped sweater, chunky knit. Love that. Great for this time of the year. Okay. I'm like, can I lift this up? We got this, guys. We can, we can keep doing this. Oh, these are a pair of Hunter boot liners. I grabbed them. I, you know, it was magical that I saw both in the bin. So I grabbed them. I'm not sure what size they're for. Do they say? They probably say somewhere in here, huh? Or not. I'll have to look inside the other one. But they're in good condition. Why not? Next, I have... Oh, I can't remember why I grabbed this. Maybe I thought this was interesting. You can look up comps on this one if you want. It must have looked interesting enough that I was like, yeah, I'll try it. It says Kathleen Barnes, The Drop. Now, I want to say it's super soft. Let me say that. Size medium tank. I almost wonder if it's like one of those collabs that people have done with Amazon. Where it's like influencers do these collabs. That's like my first guess, but I don't know if that's actually true. Here is, oh, another Torrid coat. This one I would have kept if it was my size. So this one's a three, which would be a three X, but look how cute it is. It's kind of got like the sweatshirt sleeves and hoodie. And then what'd you call this? Like an anorak style coat? I don't know. It does cinch at the waist. It's this really pretty kind of gray, acid washed gray. Love it. Super excited about that one. This is a dress, another toward piece. This one's a size 22. And yeah, I'm guessing I washed with this with the pair well again, because look at the color. <laughs> look how rich and dark the color is. This is really cute, like almost like a retro style dress. Fun, this would be cute for the holidays. I mean, floral, but you know, somebody might want it. Okay, next is another athletic piece. This is a swim tank. And I don't think I found the bottoms, but that's okay because people buy mismatching pieces when it comes to bikinis. So this is a 34B slash C. It does have the cups still inside there. And if you're thinking who's buying swimsuits at this time of the year, you gotta remember it's sunny in Australia. <laughs> it's sunny in Hawaii. And a lot of people like to travel south for the winter. Okay, this brand, I actually saw it recently. I bought them because they're just super soft, okay? I think it's just like an Amazon brand or something else. Like these are stupid soft, okay? They're called Hay Nuts. Let's just take a minute to enjoy that name. Hay Nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're size 46 and I, they popped up on, I think my TikTok algorithm because some girl who used to work for Lululemon was like, hey, you want a list of like Lululemon dupe brands on Amazon? That was one of them. And then when I went to look, a lot of them were sold out. So I'm not saying people are going to go searching for hay nuts, but if they do, I'm their gal. Next item is another outdoor research piece. This is a size extra large women's, which I should keep, but I'm not going to. There is some pilling here on the front. So I'm actually going to take my sweater comb thing, which I don't have handy on me, but I will link it in the description if you're curious what I'm talking about. I have like two little, two combs. One is this cute little blue one. It does a great job of taking a lot of this pilling off. It does what a sweater shaver can't. It's just got a better, I don't know, just a closer shave, I guess. Sounds like a, a shaving commercial, but anyways. Next is the brand Rampage. So this is from my youth. This, I guess, would be vintage. Size 7, 100% rayon midi style dress. So fun. I always say these dress types of dresses, maybe it's maxi, remind me of my so-called life. You could totally wear some Doc Martens with this and wear it to the homecoming dance or wherever you like. Maybe not the Docs to the homecoming dance, but you could, why not? Oh, I should probably put that in my vintage pile. We do photographs by category here, guys. Okay, next is a brand that I talk about often when I find it. <laughs> uh, carrots, spelled with a K. And this is a riding breech pant. Uh, these are breeches, B-R-E-E-C-H-E-S. And these pants tend to sell for anywhere between $30 to $50, just depending on what style you have and condition. But check out riding pants. You might find that you like the comps on them. Next is a pair of Lululemon leggings, but will they have a size dot? 
heck yeah, <laughs> size six. So these ones are not bad condition. They're actually pretty soft throughout. The only signs of wear is in the crotch. It's, you know, I'll give it a B. I'm gonna de-pill it a little bit. There's not too much there, to be honest with you. Um, and they are the reversible style. So I'm gonna need to de-pill those. Those I will just use the sweater shaver on. I won't use like the little comb thing. That wouldn't be good for it. This would be hyper local to my state. It is the Cougars, Washington State University. And it's a Nike shirt, lightweight, men's, size extra small. It's new with tags. It is football season, right? <laughs> so <laughs> we will get that listed. A bra, because I love selling bras when I can find them or find ones that I know what they are. This brand was new. Maybe I've sold it. Maybe that's why I picked it up. Panache. Panache. That's also a word, right? Panache Sport. 36D. Um, I don't know. I think the comps were good when I looked them up, when I looked this up. So... It's a sports bra. Love selling sports bras. People always need a new one. This is actually a set. I don't want to totally unfold it. And I almost wonder if it was a set from Costco because I think I have another one for sale. <laughs> it's from the, the brand Splendid, which Costco does sell Splendid. It's a size large leopard print and it's got the top and the bottom. Super cute. But I think I also have one for sale. Okay. <laughs> Next, I think this is another cycling brand shirt and it took me a moment. No, just kidding. It's carrots again. There it is. It's really faint, but it says www.carrots.com. So I've actually never sold a carrots shirt before, just the riding breeches. But hey man, why not? The breeches sell so well for me that I will absolutely give a top a chance. And then last but not least, because I think that's the last one I haven't shown you and I'm only over by a few minutes. And if I edit this out, we'll never know that I'm over by a few minutes. Well, if I edit the video down and then I have to edit this part out, I'm not gonna edit this part out. <laughs> it's this pretty dress. I think it's Lane Bryant. It's a size 1820. I'm like, ooh, that can maybe fit me. I don't know. Again, I have nowhere to wear it. Uh, <laughs> really pretty metallic faux wrap dress. It does come with the belt. Kind of, mm, I don't wanna say it's a Masoni ripoff, but kind of a Masoni ripoff style. But anyways, that's the whole, you guys, we did it. The bag is empty. Maybe I can go back to the bin sometime soon. I just still have to work on all that other stuff behind you that you can't see. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this spastic quick haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.